Plus Size Sweetie Pies channel. I'm Bella. And I'm Chicky. And today we have a torrid inside the dressing room featuring cover-ups all day, all the time. Yes. Yeah. Including coats, sweaters, kimonos. Yes. Dusters. It was really... Anything your heart could desire. Pretty much. Especially for the fall. Yes. So I'm currently wearing... Scarf is from Indigo, the dress is from Old Navy, and the boots are from Naturalizer. Uh, my sweater and my shirt are from Ricky's, and my leggings are from Pennington's. And Payless shoes, I think. So this is a continuation from the, the pants. Yes. So this is our first selection. Oh, I love this blazer. It is very nice. I usually have a problem with blazers because they make me look too boxy but this one no it gives nice hourglass shape yeah as you can see i had my button to kind of show you how that looks yep as you can see it does have the pockets and i do believe they were not functional no pockets. they were non-functioning uh there is the gathering at the sleeve there and it's a three-quarter length yeah. sleeve and you can see the inseam and how it's cut in like that to give you that hourglass shape this one was just super comfy i'd happily buy this one if it goes on sale yeah very lightweight fabric too yes yeah so, so good transition fall piece yeah if you get really hot or anything mm -hmm. and it's nice material so it stretches so oh, no. one of my favorites it is so pretty i'm always down for a bomber jacket this one was adorable and it fit beautifully i think one of the best details about it though was that the sleeves on the inside had a fabric so it wouldn't pill up. It was like a non-pill fabric, which is like probably one of the coolest things ever. Yeah, I like the detail there at the side by the pocket, mm -hmm. really nip you in. It is a cropped length mm -hmm. moto style jacket, so it folds over itself to zip up. But it is but... longer in the front than the back, yeah, which is so, a nice touch. Yeah. It follows the lines of the body very nicely. Very nicely. I love the gray color. Yeah. Like it's much different than like a black or a brown. And, but still in neutral. So like, yeah. even if I wore these boots, it still looked good. This Hello. is our first coat. Yes. And it was so, so cute. cute. I loved the f ruffle there, as you can see. Yeah. So we kept it closed to make to show you what it would look like. And it's, it's a high-low, so high in the front, low in the back, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It just creates a really awesome silhouette. Yeah. I love the color. It's like burgundy. It's a lovely plum. tweed. It's, the, it's definitely the tweed material again. Very nice and warm. I love it's the so chevron. Cute. Yeah, the chevron arrow pattern on it yeah. is quite lovely too. Just all of these are kind of like just hitting it out of the park for me. Yeah. I don't know. Tour the does it. They really they do. do. Now, if only their prices would be reasonable. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, there's an inside button so you can make sure it doesn't like open up too much. And it folds on either side. Oh, no, sorry. The next one. This, this is one. So, this military love style. It jacket is really cool because you can do it up on either side yeah i did purchase a military style jacket from toward last year in this color and it is so awesome it's so comfy so bella's wearing it open i'm wearing it closed so you can really get a feel for what it looks like both ways but as you can as bella's showing off um there's holes on yeah, both sides exactly. so you can use both sides of the buttons Again, you have that deep pockets, which were really awesome. On the sleeve there, you can see there was that fabric piece again. Yep. So it was really, nice. again, it doesn't pill because it's got like a lining just along the sides that normally brush up against your body. And nice pockets. Oh my God. Nice I love length. This one. I just, they're killing it. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. Mmm, sweaters. So now we're getting into the lighter fare for this particular inside the dressing room. We have two different colors because I didn't have the white one in my size, but this will give you an idea of the range for this particular cut. It was really comfy. Just a really nice, basic... Very similar to the old navy cardigan that we yes. both loved, that I bought. It but what, I, what I prefer about that one was it's thicker. It is this, thicker. These okay. are much thinner. Yes, and uh, less structured. So mm -hmm. it's not going to keep its structure. It's just one of those more comfy slouchy types which yeah. is a look and I, i'm rather fond of I'm, it i'm for it nice I'm, deep I'm, pockets yeah. again yeah. always comfy probably not the most functional ones just because they'll sag on you but otherwise this one's super comfy yeah so oh, here we go with so the pretty i was like you could 
like belt this and wear this as a dress. It is so gorgeous. The velvet goes all the way around. On the trim in yep. on the sleeve trim too. Yeah. This beautiful colors. Beautiful. I love purple. You know me. Well, and the big bold print too, right? Yeah. Like I oh, I I want it. It's too <laughs> much, but I want it. Yeah. But it, it goes on sale. Hopefully yes. I will acquire it. Again, it's a high low cut. Yep. As you can tell. Actually, Very swishy. Both, both kimonos that we bought, uh, or sorry, that we tried on, were are swishy. But what's re- really nice is the velvet weighs it down a little bit, so it has more of a flow to it. Yeah, which is quite lovely. It's a nice effect. Here's our second kimono again. Oh, high low. Look at that flow again. Nice color story here mm-hmm. with the blue and the white and the pink or like peach. It's got a little bit just a touch of peachy when you will come closer and you can. Uh, See what we mean. Like, this one is doesn't have that velvet, no, so it's, it's much thinner. Yeah, so it's uh, less weighted at the bottom. But in all honesty, there's so much fabric that it weighs itself down quite nicely. Again, you could probably belt this and wear this as a dress if you mm-hmm. wanted. Mm-hmm. I think if I only had one gripe about these kind of things is they don't match the pattern. Mm. But thankfully, it's not as big of a concern with these type of more busy prints. That's true. Yeah. So it's not as big of a concern. Yeah. Very but good. Yeah. This. Oh. So I nice. want a robe like this. Yeah. <laughs> this was this one of our cute. cuter cardigans. Uh, the star print is absolutely adorable on it. You don't see many patterns, I want to say, on cardigans. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to change it up a bit. Yeah, and you get the pocket, but this is like a, a true short sleeve. Mm-hmm. as the cuff on the sleeve as well. What's the style where you lift up? Your, it's like a bat sleeve? Bat wing, yeah. Yeah, it's like a bat wing sleeve as well. Yeah. It's just this, like a little bit of one. This fabric wasn't as soft as the other cardigans we tried. Mm-hmm. Just keep that in mind. It was like a little more scratchy mm-hmm. on the skin, but still pretty cute. But yeah, throw a car- like throw a chemise underneath and you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, this one was super cute. If it goes on sale, I definitely want it in my collection, please. <laughs> and I love the fact that the p- pattern is actually opposed for the trim. Mm. Yeah, another More cardigans. Love- yeah, so this is like a Carter what would you call it um, a duster I yes think it's called? yeah more it's more like knee length yeah so it was also super comfy um again it's th- that slouchy um light fabric so it doesn't give you a lot of structure but i actually really like the fact that it doesn't so it doesn't but it doesn't have a huge panel in the front so it actually maintains it rather well at least for the front of it and what is nice is that they lined up it up properly in the back too for the pattern yeah, it's got the nice knit, mm-hmm. cable knit, mm-hmm. nice deep pockets again, mm-hmm. nice color. Yeah, so duster cardigan. Yeah. Something we don't see very often. True. Very comfy. Yeah, it was super comfy. And so, that's it. Thank you very much for joining us for this Inside the Dressing Room at Torrid, featuring all covers all the time. We hope you enjoy this next installment in the series, and we will continue on within the coming weeks. So other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye!